something special? Blanquette to go. Ooh la la. We used to make it in culinary school, but I added my own little twist. May I? Whoa. All right, look alive, everyone. We have a full house tonight. Larry, you're overcooking it. Start over. This is the Bowery, not a burger joint. I like burgers. Is that the special? It looks like beef stroganoff. It's Blanquette du Vaux. Try some. No, thanks. I'll leave the fancy cuisine to you. Brett? Just nervous, Alice. You know we're expecting Janice Silver any day now. Relax, babe. The customers are gonna love it. We sold out of my bouillabaisse last time, remember? Mmm, bold words from a sous chef. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be a sous chef forever. <laughs> Welcome to the Bowery. Do you have a reservation? No, I don't. Oh, well, we can put you on the waiting list. We're running about an hour. Your name? Janet Silver. Actually, I have something ready for you right now. Isn't that nice? Right this way, Miss Silver. Janet Silver is Janet here. Silver, Silver, Silver. Okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Janet Silver is here. We've made a top 10 list for the last 10 years, and this year will be no different. Am I being clear? Yes, yes, yes. Chef. All right, what did she order? Potato leek bisque, grilled swordfish, filet mignon, and the special. The special. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Potato leek soup, the mm. grilled swordfish, the filet mignon, and the special. Mm. Oh, I was surprised to see that you have Blanquette de Veau on the menu. Usually you're so predictable. Enjoy. Mm. So far, so good. <coughs> oh no. No, 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 no. <coughs> Miss Silver, are you all right? <coughs> what is this? Uh, one moment. What's in the Blanquette de Veau? Um, veal, onions, garlic, carrot, uh, egg, clarified butter, chardonnay, <coughs> parsley, thyme. Parsley? Thing. Parsley? Call 911. Now. <coughs> Janet Silver is allergic to parsley. Every chef in New York knows that. <coughs> Not every chef. I'm sorry. But how was I supposed to know about the parsley? At least she'll be all right, right? Stick to the menu from now on out. This could have cost us big time, and it still might. We're definitely not gonna make her top 10 this time. I'm sorry, but there was nothing actually wrong with the dish. I'm sticking around here for a while, so maybe you should take off. I don't want you to miss your train. Good night. Hey. Hey, Chris. 
Nation. We are so excited for your new concept. Can you tell me what drew you to the space? I love the open kitchen layout. It gives the customer a true culinary experience. No, I don't have an opening date yet. I'm still looking for a chef, but hopefully soon. I gotta run. I'll talk to you later. Danielle is waiting for you. Good morning, Marta. Christian. Good morning, Aunt Daniela. Good morning. Do you want something to eat? No, thanks. I'll just have some tea. At 10 a.m., you have a conference call about the design of the new hotel in Charleston, then lunch with the governor at 12.30, followed by a 4 p.m. tour of the new wing of the Children's Hospital and a 7 p.m. dinner with the Association of Female Business Owners. Can we push dinner back? I've been emailing with the director of the hospital, and I want to stick around after the tour to discuss additional fundraising strategies, OK? OK. Unless my charming nephew would attend for me. Heaven knows he could use an evening out with some strong, intelligent women. What? You could at least act interested. You know, it's one of the many skills you'll find handy when you're in my shoes. I'm interested. I promise. Maybe you'll find the next topic a little more captivating. The annual fundraiser for the St. Andrews Children's Hospital is coming up. We attend a fundraiser every other weekend, Marta. Yes, but we're hosting this one, and it's a cooking competition. The theme is farm to fork. I like it. It's cute. It was Marta's idea. We still haven't settled on the judges yet. Maybe our resident gourmand could make a suggestion. We could get Duncan Reams. That British bully? Absolutely not. This is a charity event. It's not one of his reality shows. All the best chefs have the most difficult personalities. Why, if we under-season a dish at L'Academy, Chef Baumgarten would feed it to his mastiff and make us watch. This one time Alice took some ah, eggs. Ah, yes. Alice Myers. Mm. Well, in any case, Marta, I will be selecting our judges, OK? Your conference call is in 20 minutes. OK. I'm going to confirm everyone for you. Thank you, Marta. Christian, what's wrong? You've been distracted lately. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to be. I know the prospect of taking over the family business can be quite overwhelming. I felt the same way when I took over for my husband. But now, a short 20 years later, I can't think of any path more fulfilling. Thanks, Aunt Daniela. How would you like to be one of our judges? I'm not qualified. Of course you are. You may not work in the kitchen, but you are a chef. You've got the diploma to prove it. That's very kind. But you want judges with big personalities for the fundraiser. That's why people watch those shows. Is that why they watch them? I never knew why. Well, offer still stands. Think about it, will you? I will. <laughs> I just came from a meeting. Guess who's catering this year's Gotham Gala? The Gotham Gala? As in the biggest party in New York City? That's the one. Red carpet, celebrities, and now, the Bowery. This came for you, Alice. Uh, isn't the gala in a week? Their first choice canceled. We're the runner-ups. But after the Janice Silver incident, we need this one. Alice, are you listening? I've just been invited to judge a cooking competition. What? <laughs> Dear Miss Myers, you are cordially invited to serve on the judges panel for the St. Andrews Children's Hospital Charity Cook-Off. This event will bring together esteemed chefs from around the world for a weekend in Kansas City. I look forward to you being my guest. Please respond before October 1st. Daniela Phillips. The hotel magnate? <laughs> and philanthropist, apparently. Wow. It's in Kansas City in a week. And they are paying for everything. I recognize your talent. That's why I want you working with me at the gala. This will be great. Recognition for both of us. For you. Look, I don't want to argue with you. 
You can stay here with me and cook for the stars, or you can watch some old, washed-up chefs cook. It's your choice. <laughs> I get blackcurrant, plum, maybe a little oak. Mmm, nice tannins. What do you guys think? Tastes like red wine. Very astute. <laughs> We're not here to talk about the wine. We want to talk about you. And the cooking competition. You have to go. I don't know. Brett really wants me to work with him at this gala, and it's a big deal. Yeah, for him, but Brett's too busy thinking about Brett to think about what's best for you. How long did it take him to let you try out that special? Then he turns around and pulls it off the menu after one tiny accident. Well, in his defense, I did send a food critic to the hospital. Mm. <laughs> She's fine. That's not the point. He's the head chef. He should have seen the parsley before the dish even went out. He dropped the ball, not you. Maybe. It's okay to have your own dreams. I don't get it. A lot of people would kill for my job. And my boyfriend. Why am I not happier? It's a great restaurant, but maybe it's not great for you. Well then, here's to dreams. <laughs> to, to dreams! dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Kansas City. Thank you. I like the view. Everything I've ever done is me straight to This is our power and light district. Just a short walk from your hotel. This is it, Hotel Phillips. You sure this is where I'm staying? We're glad to have you staying with us. Could I have your name? Alice Myers? It might be on. Ah, I see you're one of the judges for the cook-off. Ms. Phillips has made some very special arrangements for your stay. This might be a silly question, but does Ms. Phillips own this hotel? Yes, she does. Uh, this hotel was the first built by the Phillips Group in the 1930s, and now they have luxury hotels all over the world. Uh, San Francisco, Paris, Tokyo, Zurich. Whoa. Uh, Everything is taken care of. You're on the fifth floor. Elevators are to your left. Your things will be brought to your room. And if there's anything I can do for you during your stay, please let me know. I will. Thank you. Not at all. <laughs> Thanks. If you want to see a great view, you should head on up to the rooftop. I will. Thank you. Have a nice day, ma'am. You too. Please join us for a meet and greet this evening, 7 p.m. white, 
This is some meet and greet. Blues is nothing. Just wait till you see this weekend. Ah. <laughs> Alice? Christian? You must be Miss Myers. Alice, let me introduce you to Christian. This is Danielle's nephew. He'll be a judge this weekend. We know each other more than. Huh, small world. Really small. I'll leave you two to get reacquainted then. Daniela's nephew? Daniela Phillips? That's the one. Why didn't you tell me? Guess it never came up. Never came up? How long were we together? Back then, and Daniela and I weren't particularly close. But being part of the Phillips family, it's not the sort of thing we talk about. People look at you differently, like you now. I'm sorry. I'm just surprised, is all. So that's why I'm here, because of you? Believe me, I had nothing to do with this. I'm as surprised as you. So what are you doing now? I'm Danielle's apprentice. You're not a chef? Don't tell anyone. After my parents passed, Aunt Daniela took me under her wing. She doesn't have any children of her own, so here I am. She runs the hotel business and spearheads a million charity events. And I help. And you live here? Mostly. We're based here. But it involves a lot of traveling. Sounds like a dream job. What about you? You must be doing very well for yourself. One of the esteemed judges of the competition. I am a sous chef in New York. A sous chef? Here we go. No, I, I mean, that's great. Go on, you can say it. I'm just surprised, that's all. Uh, but I can't say anything. I'm here purely out of nepotism. Well, I don't know about now, but you were a great chef in school. That's pretty nice. That was a long time ago. It won't be weird us together as judges, right? Not with me. Me neither. That is all ancient history. I should mingle with the other guests. Let's chat later. Yeah, definitely. Seems like everyone is enjoying the party. Christian, there you are. Have you met Governor DeMont? Yes, nice to see you, Governor. I believe we're still overdue for that round of golf. <laughs> Your club or mine, hmm? Let's set it up. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Can I steal my aunt for a moment? I just need to have a quick word in private. By all means. What's so pressing? You put a sous chef on the judges' panel. Well, you must be referring to Alice Myers. That's the one. She's an up-and-coming young chef. Very talented. She's a sous chef. She's been working at a top-tier restaurant in New York since she graduated from that very prestigious Swiss culinary school. You might have heard of it. I can't believe you did this. Did what? Wasn't she a friend of yours? Who you still talk about. And I didn't think you'd mind seeing an old friend. You don't have a problem with that, do you? I don't have a problem. Good, because you two will be working a lot together. Daniela Phillips, mm -hmm. businesswoman, philanthropist, matchmaker. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, thank you. Are you kidding me? I know, right? <laughs> it's just like reality TV. Seriously, we're so proud of you, and we're so jealous. Well, I'm here because of you guys. I'll bring you a souvenir. Ooh, how about one of those bathrobes? So, the other thing is, I ran into an old friend here. Who? Christian. Wait, wait, the guy from Switzerland? What's he doing there? Well, how does he look? Turns out he's Daniela Phillips' nephew. <gasps> and he's one of the judges, too. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he's like, uber wealthy. You're dating a gajillionaire? Well, he wasn't rich then. At least he didn't act like it. Just Googled him, yeah. Dude is loaded. Okay, so he's rich and good looking. Now I'm really jealous. I'm with Brett, remember? <laughs> oh, gotta go. That's Brett. Speak of the devil. Text us. Bye. Bye. 
Hi. I wasn't sure I'd hear from you. Yeah, it's kind of a madhouse here. How are things with you? I'm sorry I can't be there to help. I wish I could be two places at once. Me too. <laughs> I'm sure they'll do fine. You're just stressed. You should see the menu I put together. Nothing fancy, but I think the guests are going to dig it. That's great. We practically raided this organic beef farm upstate. You should see these cuts, babe. Some of the best I've ever... Hey, hey! Watch that flame over there. Where was I? Hey, I have to go, actually. I'm really tired. Talk soon, though. Oh, okay. Later. Good afternoon, I'm Daniela Phillips, and I'd like to welcome you to the St. Andrews Children's Hospital Charity Cook-Off. <laughs> Most importantly, I want to thank all of you for your very generous and kind donations. Now, to get things started, let's meet our judges. Tony Mitchell. Tony has been a food writer for over two decades. She has written for Gourmet and Food and Wine magazines, and her most recent book, Tony Appetit is on the New York Times bestseller list. Alice Myers is a sous chef at the Bowery, one of Manhattan's finest restaurants. She is also a graduate of the prestigious L'Academie Suisse des Arts Culinaire. And last but not least of our judges is my dear nephew, Christian Graham, a globe-trotting gourmand and also a graduate of L'Academie. And let me introduce to you our chefs, Chef Lee, Chef Martinez, and Chef Raphael. So chefs, you have come from all around the world. Thank you for your first challenge, I'd like for you to prepare an appetizer from your hometown in 60 minutes. Ready, chefs? Ready. Ready. All right, on your mark, get set, cook. Judges will go to work to decide the winner. Chef Lee? I'm from Taiwan, and these are Xinjiang lamb skewers, seasoned with cumin, chili flakes, Sichuan peppercorn, and fennel. The spice is nice, with a great combination of flavors. I agree. It's bold, but not overpowering. Nice work. And it finishes very nice. Good job. I live in Los Angeles, but originally I'm from El Salvador, so this is my version of a pupusa, a traditional appetizer. It is the national dish of El Salvador, and we celebrate it every year annually on the second Sunday of November. Please enjoy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Petite tartine, roti de boeuf from my native France. Bon appétit. Judges, have you reached a decision? The authentic flavors really stood out. The winner of today's competition is Chef Lee. No. This is me. Congratulations, Chef. So winning this round, Chef Lee, has earned you 100 points. Well done. The next round is worth 200 points, and the final round will be worth 300. So, chefs, it's anybody's game. Our next challenge? You have 24 hours 
to create an entree of your choosing. But there's one catch. Farm to fork, you can only use ingredients from our local farm. Are you ready? The challenge begins now. Great meeting you. If they put that together in an hour, I can't wait to see what they come up with tomorrow. You just love to eat. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay, Mr. Pretentious. How did we ever agree on the lamp skewers? You know, I was a little surprised myself. Are you ready? For what? You're going with the chefs to the farm, in case they have questions about the rules. Is that really necessary? Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Splendid. You can ride on the bus with the chefs if you want. The bus? Alice, you want to ride with me? Hmm, it depends. What are you driving these days? Let me guess. Something fast, shiny, and foreign. I miss the fresh air. It's not exactly New York. Let's get a photo. I love markets. Everything's just so fresh. Oh my, God. oh my gosh. I just smelled something so wonderful. I'm gonna go follow my nose and I'll catch up with you both later. I guess we don't have to stay with the chefs. They'll be fine. Where are you going? You'll see. Christian? Hey. What looks good? What just came out of the oven? Croissants. They smell amazing. I want those. We'll lift four, please. No problem. Wait till you taste them. They're made with European butter and a wild yeast starter. Well, this kind of reminds me of our trip to Lugano. The water was like glass. It was beautiful. Yeah, but what was that name of the little shop we went to back then? Fanini Dolce. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. Not yet. Got some place I want to show you. <laughs> okay. So you own a farm, too. <laughs> Not mine. It's a family farm. Almost reminds me of Switzerland. Though, I do believe the Alps are just a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean this. And spending time with you. And all it took was a free trip. <laughs> well, we can't all be jet setters, you know. As you recall, I'm from Long Island and not the ritzy part. <laughs> I worked my tail off since graduation, since... Since you got that job as a prep cook at Le Bernardine? I remember. You were jumping and screaming all over the place when you found out. And we all wanted to lock you in the meat freezer. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. We were jealous. You deserved it. And you made your own way. I respect that. Really? You mean that? I left a lot of things unsaid when we were together. And I'm sorry. And the way things ended, I really didn't handle it that well. It was a long time ago. You don't have to say anything. I want to. I was supposed to join you in New York, but I didn't. You were going through a lot with your parents' death. I just wanted to be there for you. I know you did. It was a dark time, and I shut you out. You deserve better than that. I understood. Really, it's OK. Oh, I made a real mess of things. 
But everything worked out for the best. You're taking over for your aunt. I'm number two at one of the best restaurants in New York. I couldn't be happier. But still, I don't know what I was thinking letting you go. Whoa, <laughs> I guess we've worn out our welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Race you back to the car. What about the wine? Daniela. Ah, relax, chefs. I'm not here in any official capacity. I'm just merely feeling a little peckish. It would be an honor to serve you something. Oh, no, that's quite all right, but thank you. Just pretend I'm not here. I'm just going to raid the refrigerator. Oh, that's perfect. Do you mind if I use this? Terribly, Chef Raphael? Not at all. You know, I quite enjoyed your dish today. I have spent plenty of time in France, and I must say, your tartine was mm, delicious. Merci. In my humble opinion, you should have won. <laughs> I must humbly disagree. But I must admit I was quite surprised by the level of competition you brought together. But not unpleasantly. What do you mean? I love surprises. Combining new ingredients, improvising a meal. I've been cooking my whole life, but I am yet a student. There's always something new to learn. Mm. You're very insightful. Mm. A side effect of spending most of my life at my cutting board. Mm. Plenty of time to think. Speaking of which, may I? By all means, please do. <laughs> I'm frightful in the kitchen. <laughs> I disagree. Oh. What is here? So, yeah, my fingers will get smooth. <laughs> voilà. After a few calls, well, a few dozen, I was able to book you back-to-back -back meetings while you're in San Francisco next week. You're an angel, Marta. That's your revised itinerary. As much as I love a full schedule, I, I am so looking forward to retirement. No second thoughts? I think Christian is about as ready as he'll ever be to take over the Phillips group. I do love my job. But I am so ready to do all the things that I just I haven't had time for, you know? Yeah. I'm going to sound like a foolish old woman, but really like to find love again before it's too late. You are not old. You're not foolish. Not at all. Thank you, Marta. One more minute, chefs. Chef Lee, 
This is shui shouyu, or Szechuan boiled fish. I've made it with a fresh catfish from a local lake. Catfish, what an interesting choice. Chef Martinez. This is my take on asabuco, a specialty of Lombard cuisine. It's a volcano cut lamb shank braised in a red wine vegetable sauce on top of a Parmesan risotto. Mm. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Not a bad asabuco. I agree. But the sauce is a bit thin. It's supposed to be a hearty dish. I'm sorry, but any Italian grandmother can make it better. Who's pretentious now? And Chef Raphael. This is Casale de Provence. Unfortunately, the rules did not permit me to use Toulouse sausage, but I discovered many local options. Daniela, for you. <laughs> Merci. Bon appétit. I vote uh, Chef Lee. The spices were spot on, so delicious. Chef Raphael's dish was much more complex and at least as delicious. And I have to agree with Alice. Cassoulet is one of the most challenging dishes in all of French cuisine. Superb. It's glorified stew. Chef Lee is hiding behind his spices. That fish was overcooked. I'm standing by Chef Raphael. I have to agree. Okay. Well, looks like we have a winner. Winner of today's competition, Chef Raphael. Congratulations to Chef Raphael, who has captured the lead with 200 points, but have one more challenge to go. Well, chefs, the final challenge will be to complete the meal that you've done so far. My personal favorite, dessert. <laughs> now, you can cook or bake anything that you like. The only requirement is that the recipe must come from the heart. All right, you've got 24 hours. Let's go. Good luck, chefs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. Good job. You're quite the food critic. Oh, you're just mad you were outnumbered. I'm still not sure I agree with you, but you did argue your point well. You know, all this eating is actually making me pretty hungry. <laughs> I know a place where we can go. If you don't mind working for your food. Sounds good to me. Reminds me of what we used to talk about at La Calami. I thought you'd like it. Location's great, too. You said a friend's opening this place? Yeah. What kind of food? He hasn't decided. Really? When's the opening? I'm not sure yet. Less questions, more cooking. Okay. Okay. You're the Sioux, though.
Chef Raphael. Me? I thought you'd be in the kitchen working. It may not seem like it, but I'm actually hard at work right now. Well, if that's hard work, then uh, I'd like to enroll in culinary school. <laughs> <laughs> Will you join me? Sure. I'm searching for the perfect cheese for my dish. Of course, in France, we invented cheese. On the occasion I have been outside of my country, I have not tried too many other kinds. Seems pointless, but there are times when I have been surprised. This cheese, for example, it's not like anything we have at home. It is, uh, how do you say, c'est bon? Mm, it's good. It's good. <laughs> you enjoy your work so much. Well, we both have a passion for what we do. Mm, we do. Have you ever heard the saying, if you love what you do, then you'll never work a day in your life? I just hope Christian finds that fulfillment that I have. What do you mean? Can you keep a secret? <laughs> I'm retiring. But you're so young. <laughs> well, I appreciate your flattery. But I'm tired. I'm not tired of my job. I'm just, I'm tired of only having my job. I, too, am fanatical, and it hasn't been easy on my personal life. But giving up my work would be like giving up myself. Who am I without my kitchen? But aren't you curious to find out? I know who I am. Do you? What did we make again? <laughs> so this is my take on Tyrolean food. I fell in love with it when we were in Austria. You mean Innsbruck? I remember that trip. We just met. Yeah, growing up in Long Island, I'd never seen a mountain before. And suddenly there I was in the Alps, on skis, falling all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> you were hilarious. <laughs> and you kept making fun of me. But you stayed on the bunny slopes with me all day just to make sure I got the hang of it. I wasn't going to leave you alone. Those were good times. Yes, they were. Unbelievable. This makes me feel like I'm right back at that Oshkin ski lodge. <laughs> well, mm. that's the idea. I try to recreate my experiences on the plate. I use the flavors to convey my memories. How do you not have your own restaurant? <laughs> I'm serious. Running a restaurant has so little to do with cooking. It's all about having a mind for business and a lot of luck. You know, I have a good job. It'd be a huge risk going out on my own. I know how you feel. Do you? You seem to have your future pretty locked up. I went to culinary school the same as you, and I had a dream of working in a kitchen too. But as fortunate as I am to be in this situation, it's not what I want. I had no idea. As I've got a confession to make. This is not my friend's restaurant. It's mine. I bought it about a year ago from a retiring chef, and. I've just been fixing it up. It's sort of a hobby. I've been wanting to tell Aunt Daniela, but I don't want to let her down, you know? She's, she's been so good to me, and she has no one else to take over the Phillips Group when she retires. Tell me about your restaurant. Tell me. Tell me everything you planned. Why? It, it's not like I'm going to open the place anyway. It's a hypothetical question. OK, I'll start. My dream restaurant is some place where there are no food critics or best of lists. A place where I can cook using only what's fresh and in season. And there's only a few tables in the dining room so I can come out of the kitchen and talk with the guests, maybe share some wine. And I live in a cozy apartment upstairs because I never want to leave. Now you go. Okay. At my dream restaurant, you're the chef. 
because you cook better than I do. But I still want to cook some and manage the place. <laughs> what? Sorry. Why am I the chef at your restaurant? You could have any chef in the world, in history. Uh, Yoshihiro Murata, Julia Child, Edna Lewis, Thomas Keller. And you choose me? Yes. Excuse my reach. Mm. Mm, delicious. I love cooking. Don't you cook where you work? I do. <laughs> Not for fun. We don't experiment with new dishes. We stick to standard fare. I'm surprised. Hey, but what about your restaurant? Do you realize how perfect it is? I wouldn't give it up. I mean, even if you can't be the chef, you should keep it. You could hire someone to run the daily and sneak in whenever you feel like cooking. Bad idea. Be honest. It's because of you that I'm here judging the competition. It's not some random coincidence or my talent, is it? Some call it coincidence, I'll just call it fate. The point is, you're a young and up and coming chef who's very talented. Thanks. I can't believe it's so late. I had a lovely day. Me too. Well, I saw you come out here. The bellman said I should come check out the view. It's beautiful. I come up here when I need a little perspective. You know, the view from my apartment in New York looks through someone else's window. A smaller city does have its perks. Like what? We're friendly. There's no fighting over parking, low cost living, less traffic. Sounds like you're on the tourism board. Well, we are in the hotel business, but honestly, I like it here. I can see why. Do you ever see yourself leaving New York? Me? If there were a reason. A reason like... Christian! Daniela would like a word with you. Excuse me. Sit down, Christian. Is there something wrong? We're supposed to be down in the kitchen soon. No, this will only take a minute. Okay. After the competition, I am going to formally announce my retirement from the Phillips Group. Why now? Because you're ready. And because now, more than ever, it's become apparent to me that I want more. Thanks so much. This is a great honor. And Daniela, but... But we have a competition to get to. Quite right. That's not... Well... Let's go. And Daniela. Oh, Christian, don't look so nervous. 
You are going to be a great leader, I'm certain. Your mom and dad would be so proud of you. I know I am. Was there anything else? No. Good. Then off we go. Oh, one more thing. I quite like your girlfriend. Oh, she's not my girlfriend. Hmm. Well, I like her. Your dream chef is available, but I know a lot of people in New York would love to work with you. I'll introduce you. Alice, I appreciate the help. No, no, no. All right, time's up, chefs. Ready, judges? Chef Lee? This is Xi Mahu, or black sesame soup, a sweet soup popular in southern China, where my wife is from. I paired it with Chinese donuts for dipping. Chef Martinez? This is my take on tres leches cake. It's a cake soaked in three kinds of milk, evaporated, condensed, and heavy cream. You can find it all across Latin America. And that is where my heart will always be. Mm. Oh, I like that. And Chef Raphael. This is a souffle I prepared from a surprising cheese I found at a creamerie outside of Kansas City. The day I tasted my first souffle, that was the day I fell in love with cooking. Perfectly executed. No argument here. Seriously? Hmm. That's a first. All right, do we have a win? Okay, yeah. Judges, have you reached a decision? We have. The winner of the dessert challenge with one of the most elegantly delicious executed desserts. Chef Raphael. This win earns Chef Raphael an additional 300 points, making him the winner of this charity cook-off. Thanks, John. Congratulations. Thank you. This is truly an honor. And of course, tomorrow night, our judges will prepare dinner in Chef Raphael's honor. What was that? Do you not read the letter before you agree to being a judge? Not the fine print, apparently. If you prepare just one of the dishes you did last night, everyone will be eating the best meal they ever had. <laughs> Ms. Myers, has Christian told you the good news yet? What good news? Go on, tell her. Tomorrow night, I will be announcing my retirement, but more importantly, I'll be announcing that Christian is the new head of the Phillips Group. He has such a bright future ahead of him, don't you think? Tomorrow? Well, I must be off, and you three have a dinner to prepare. All right, I'll catch up with you guys later. I was gonna tell you myself. No, congrats, if that's what you want. Is it? Oh. Alice! Brett! <laughs> Who? What are you doing here? I got on the first flight here after the gala. I wanted to surprise you. You did. How was it? Major success. 
the Bowery is back on the map. I have some really incredible news. Hey, man. Brett, Prochetta, Alice's boyfriend. Christian Graham. And I was just leaving. I'll see you tomorrow. Who's that? Old friend. Hmm. All right. There you are. Just sign right here, and it's official. You'll be owner and CEO of the Phillips Group. Now that you're in charge of everything, I think you'd look a little more pleased. I appreciate everything you're doing for me, but... But what? Is it Alice? You think it's a secret? Don't be ridiculous, everyone knows. Great. So what if she has a boyfriend? That's a pretty big so what, don't you think? No, I don't. But I've seen you two together the past few days, and I don't know, if it's meant to be, then... No job or amount of money is gonna change the fact that she's living a life in New York. A good life. A life without me. Have you told her how you feel about her? I'm pretty sure she knows. Well, I'm no expert in love, but in any business deal, you always state your intentions clearly, or you will never get what you want. Ah, there you are, chef. I've been looking all over for you. What is it? I was just hoping you might join me for a celebratory beverage. You're aware that we employ a small army of dishwashers here, chef. I requested the dishwashers leave me be. I don't trust anyone with my cooking utensils. <laughs> a chef's job doesn't end when the meal is served. In fact, a chef's job never ends. So, is that a no on the drink? May I join you once I finish my task? Please because I have something to celebrate as well. What is that? Tomorrow night, I will be announcing my retirement from the Phillips Group. I will finally have all the time to do everything I've put off. I'll travel the world. I suppose I've already done that, but maybe I'll find a hobby. I've never had one of those. Should I take up cooking? May I speak my mind? Please. I can't understand why you are leaving a career that has made you so fulfilled. You're good at what you do. You have a passion. It shows. It may tire you from time to time, but what honest work doesn't. I want some things for my life that this job has just made impossible. The chance? Love, for instance. I took over my husband's business after his death, and this job has, has driven away every proper man I've met since then. Perhaps the fault was with the man and not the job. Excuse me? I don't have to be familiar with the details to know that these weren't the right men for you. They became involved with a hardworking woman, and what? In a way, because you couldn't change. Only a fool wouldn't admire and respect your dedication for your business, your philanthropy. If you retire now, you stand a chance of meeting more fools. When you deserve a man who appreciates who you are. Remind me, why are we here again? I'm making a deconstructed apple strudel for dessert. Don't they have grocery stores? Well, I want everything as fresh as possible. Huh. Why are you so worked up? We're on vacation. You're on vacation. I'm cooking, and I want this dinner to be perfect. Well, I have some good news that will put you in a better mood. The Times did a glowing review on us after the gala. The owners want to capitalize on the publicity. They're talking about opening another location in Brooklyn. That's great. They want you to be the head chef. 
You mean I'd have my own restaurant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my own restaurant? This is amazing! I, what? <laughs> the idea is that you'll serve everyone's favorites, but with a pared-down menu. A pared-down menu? I'm still the executive chef of the flagship restaurant, so I have the final approval on everything. But we'll work on it together. Oh. You have to stick to the brand. Steaks, potatoes, and martinis. Not any of that fancy European stuff. It won't really be my own kitchen if I can't make my own food. I'll basically still be your sous chef. This is a big opportunity for you. I thought you'd be excited. I am. I think I just have a lot on my mind with the dinner tonight and... and... You're right. It's a lot to digest. I'll let you concentrate on what you're doing, and I'll go look at some animals or something. Thanks. And thank you for coming out to surprise me. I really appreciate it. Big world, small farm. You've assigned quite the shopping list. It'll all be worth it. I've got everything under control. Right. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Brett. It just never came up. You've got a boyfriend. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why would it be? No reason. We're friends, Alice. Exactly. Just friends. If you'll excuse me, I've got some shopping to do. I'll see you in the kitchen. Hey, if you want to talk about your restaurant... I decided to sell it. Just like that? Some dreams are just dreams. You gotta let them go. You're gonna knock them dead. And look good doing it. You know I haven't said yes, right? I know, I know. But you will. So, what are you gonna do today? There's a museum nearby, or you could do one of those walking tours. Nah, I'm gonna go back to the room and chill. Answer emails, go to room service. But you're on vacation. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna watch TV. Have fun. Bye, babe. Bye. I can't believe you still have our school chef's coat. <laughs> I don't wear it all the time or anything. Right. Head chef, aren't you a Sue? Alice got a promotion. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah, the Barry wants to open a restaurant in Brooklyn and owners want me to run it. Really? Uh, that's wonderful. I'm really happy for you. Yeah? Of course. Your own kitchen. This is what you've been working for. Congratulations. Oh, that's so sweet and all. Well, we got a four-course meal to prep. Let's go. Right. All right. Tony, you're on salad and hors d'oeuvres. Christian, you got the appetizer. I'll get main, and I might need a hand with dessert. Sound good? Uh-huh. All right, let's get to it. Steak tartare. 
They will love it. What's for dessert? Deconstructed apple strudel. Can't wait. Sounds delicious. What do you think? This might sound crazy, but what about cardamom? Try me. Genius. Finished. May I? You're a magician. <laughs> Stop. It wasn't even my recipe. I stole it from Chef Baumgarten. You did not. Chef Baumgarten would never make something like this. He was strictly old school. Well, it wasn't exactly his recipe, but I used it as a jumping off point. It's amazing. Whatever it is, it wasn't just me. We still make a great team. Alice, can I tell you something? Guys, less talking, more plating. Come on, our first course goes out in five. What did you want to tell me? You heard Tony, all hands on deck. But of course. You're handling the circus quite well, Chef. Perhaps I've learned a thing or two from the ringmaster herself. <laughs> Are you still making your announcement? Mm -hmm. After dessert. Okay. You don't think I should, do you? Only you can know that. Aunt Daniela. Christian, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in the kitchen? Can I have a word? Excuse me a moment. So, what's so urgent? Being your apprentice has been a true honor, and I appreciate that you think I can do what you can do. It's your dream, not mine. It's not. My dream is to own my own restaurant, and I know that you've been preparing for your retirement, and you deserve that. But I'm not the person to take your place. Christian, I don't know what to say. This is a lot to take in right now. There's this time. It's time, Danielle. Yes. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this very special dinner honoring Chef Raphael LaRue. Tonight's meal has been prepared by our judges panel, Tony Mitchell, Alice Myers, and my nephew, Christian Graham. And now I believe our first course is about to be served. Well, hello everyone, Tony Mitchell. Many of our dishes this evening come from France, which of course is Chef Raphael's home. And your first course is a mushroom tartlet made with fresh local mushrooms. Bon appetit. Have you 
try this. It's so good. It's so delicious. Our next course is steak tartare. Lovely. For our main course, I've prepared my take on Blanquette du Vaux. It's a personal favorite and a classic of cuisine bourgeoisie. Merci, chef. Merci. Alice, now please get the recipe. This needs to be in my next cookbook. And don't worry, you'll get full credit. Yes, of course. I'd be honored. I don't know. To me, this is a bit complicated. Excuse me? Do you know, the prep for this requires some serious technique. And in my opinion, it is flawless. Alice, the flavors there, they're complex and accessible. Seriously, look around the entire room. Everyone is loving this. What do a bunch of rednecks know about food? Brett, that is so rude. And what do you know about cooking, young man? I am the executive chef at the Bowery in New York City. And I know a good main when I taste one. Salmon Rockefeller, for instance. Or a filet mignon. Is that so? And you think filet mignon is better than this? I cannot agree with you. And I am French. I agree. This dish is sublime. Alice, come on. It's okay. Sure. But admit, this is a fireworks show. Steak and potatoes. That's what everybody here wants. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a minute? Some people like steak and potatoes. A lot of people, really. But I don't. And I am tired of you trying to shove it down my throat. And I don't care if you think my food is too fancy or complicated or European. It's my food. And as much as I appreciate the opportunity to run my own kitchen, if I can't make what I love, I don't want it. You're making a big mistake, Alice. I quit. Brett, the Bowery, and us. You sure? Have it your way. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to ruin the meal. Oh, <laughs> not at all, dear. I'm pretty certain that you made the meal. And if he's not going to eat his, now I just, um... <laughs> Before we serve dessert, I have an announcement. Lately, I've been considering retirement. Stepping down from the Phillips Group after a long and very fulfilling career. But after all the fun I've had this weekend, and the lessons I've learned from Chef Raphael, Chef Alice, and Chef Christian. I want you all to know that Daniela Phillips is here to stay. I love my job and I'm not going anywhere. Bravo. Why didn't you just tell me? I wanted to make you happy. I didn't want to let you down. Christian, you could never let me down. I love you.
You changed your mind. Well, I came to my senses. You know, Chef, I'm going to be in Paris for a few business meetings. Should I find myself having a free evening, would it be possible to reserve a table at your restaurant? You'll have the best seat in the house. <laughs> Next to the kitchen, I hope. But of course. So, you're not taking over the Phillips group? Just like that? Just like that. Which means, I guess you can open up that restaurant now. But I still want to have a chef. Oh, that is a problem. It is. I don't suppose you're interested. I'll take that as a yes. That's a yes. I believe I have a reservation under the name Aunt Daniela. You made it! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. We saved you a counter seat. Good! My date will love it. Date? You've met, actually. He just popped into the cheese store across the way. Bonjour. Could I possibly use your refrigerator? Wait, <laughs> you two? How? Where, when? We'll talk about it. details later. But right now, we are finished. All right. You look so wonderful. 